AI-enhanced online searches are meant to be Google's next big thing. But when first presented, the AI failed, which cost Google billions. Google's chatbot Bart answered a question incorrectly in a tech demo. Is that just an honest mistake that can be fixed? What do AI-powered online searches mean for us users and which risks do they pose? It was embarrassing. Google unveiled their AI search tool Bard in an effort to catch up with Microsoft-backed chatbot ChatGPT. But Bard gave an incorrect answer about the James Webb Space Telescope. Google investors were not amused by this mishap. The company's market value dropped by more than $100 billion. But the AI tool doesn't just affect Google. Searching online with the help of AI could affect all of its users, and not just in a good way. AI chatbots like ChatGPT are expected to make search results much more efficient in the near future. Amongst other things, they understand context better and provide entire text as answers. That's why Microsoft is investing billions into OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. The goal is to upgrade their search engine, Bing. Google and Chinese company Baidu both want to make their AI features publicly available as soon as possible. This competition has been dubbed the AI race. It might lead to rapid progress in the field, but critics argue that the technology is just not ready yet. They think it is still too unreliable to be used by the public. Instead of listing results like today's search engines, AI chatbots combine information and create their own new texts. ChatGPT draws from the huge GPT 3.5 database. Bart relies on Google's Lambda database and also integrates current news from the web. Unfortunately, their results are not entirely accurate yet. To be fair, Bart is still in its beta phase. ChatGPT has a disclaimer saying it might give wrong or nonsensical answers. And search engine Bing is very upfront about potential errors of its new AI tools. Nevertheless, inaccurate or wrong results are a huge problem. Both BART and ChatGPT have excellent conversation skills. The database behind BART is so convincing in conversations that a former Google employee thought it to be sentient. So you have a very convincing conversational AI that confidently states false information. Hmm. Just imagine you're sick and Googling your symptoms. The AI chatbot might be very convincing in saying that they point towards an incurable disease. Sure, you can find loads of misinformation on the internet without an AI, but that's when you look at the source, check its credibility and decide to believe it or move on. AI chatbots don't clearly attribute sources to information so far. They mix facts and present them in a conversational way. I think conversational AI should be programmed to name their sources. This would enable users to identify misinformation more easily. At the moment, though, it seems to me that developers focus more on making AI conversations believable and entertaining. Potential misinformation is not the only problem of chatbots like ChatGPT or BART. They also have a tendency to use toxic language like hate speech. That's because the datasets most AIs rely on are more or less uncensored. They draw materials from the internet, which is full of racist and sexist stereotypes. So, AI chatbots have a tendency to repeat and amplify offensive ideas. AI technology is moving forward in giant leaps. Some scientists believe it will surpass human intelligence in the future. Here's a really dystopic view. Let's suppose an AI could one day do what it wants. Spreading misinformation and hate speech could be a powerful tool to manipulate humankind and start conflicts. Are these the worries of paranoid people? Or should we be much more careful when it comes to using AI technologies? Let us know.